Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on uh, with you today. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel. Excuse me, at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you Aquarius. Get all the cards out, Aquarius, and see what's going on here. There mm -hmm. we go. There we are. Why do you feel that way? Hmm. Okay, I don't know why. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't see much about this, so I won't say it. Um. Okay, Aquarius. Huh. Well, I don't know, but all I know is overall for you here, Aquarius, you know, um... So overall, you start out in this energy where... You, it's like you, I don't know if you feel trapped, stuck. Bounded, you know, are you just really restricted? Are you just afraid to speak up and say something or do something? I don't know. But that leads you into realizing hmm, maybe it is better to be independent and single, especially like business wise, career path wise. It's like there's you being in such a fearful restrictive energy overall it does cause you to look at start to look at your finances and how you're operating or how you're doing your job and start to just do a little bit of something but not fully okay whatever that is you start out not really being sure if you're in love with someone anymore or that you even have love for them or you're trying to find a way to tell them or maybe you know you're thinking it's time to be single you know some of you are single and it's just kind of like it kind of sucks you know either or it's something it's like it's right there it's bland but then at the same time it helps you to take action towards something or someone have passion towards the situation here uh you really are in your flow in your faith okay your system your belief system uh you know you are uh trusting life in the process and believing in yourself which is beautiful and with goals and dreams and desires and stuff and there something about that though is causing you to kind of not really want to face something or make a decision on it quite yet it is starting to kind of feel a little messy internally within you and you know with whatever's going on externally but it's enough for you it's not it's nothing crazy right like yet it's more so you like kind of holding the fort down keeping things normal as best as you can um it's you starting to reflect on what's happening here in the situation okay and then you decide, then you're just going to drop the burden. You're done. You just don't even care anymore. Like whatever was or is stressful, you know, or whomever, like you're just kind of like, okay, I'm not dealing with this then. And that helps you to really actually plan some things internally, secretly with yourself and, you know, and, and really think of some, think of things through or think things through 
um, and trust the process, you know, the unknown. Now, I feel like a lot does get revealed in a sense here and you kind of understand it. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened there. I don't, yeah, I'm at the top of the deck. I don't know what happened there. Oh, this is weird. Well, ah, that makes sense. Hmm. You get really, I'm, I'm talking like something unknown happens, something that maybe is unreal. Does it make sense? It's like, it's something you can't even explain, but you kind of understand what's happening. And that's what makes you get extremely guarded but in such a way where you feel like the victim, you're victimizing yourself, you're playing the victim, but you also know what you're doing that caused all of this. And then this is where I have to intuitively say, Aquarius, what did you do under the energy of occult, divinatory, paranormal? Did you fuck up too with your friend? Your friend already got the cleanse. So what did you do? Did you open a portal? Like, what did you do? Okay. Because you're bound and you're with your money and that's not good. Something out of the blue gets you defensive. I, like, you would have thought, you would have thought like you heard, you know, I don't know, the door slam on its own or you're seeing paranormal shit in your house. Okay. Not to scare all of you. Only, you know, because you know, like not all of you Aquariuses are involved in this because I'll tell you why the combination randomly out of the blue defensive and guarded when you were doing just fine and then you dive into black craft your craft your occult divinatory stuff or you get desperate to get more and manifest what you want that it leads into something toxic from the past that you've done before in the past that you keep doing overall you're trapped you're bounded and the money stagnant floating your job your career path what happened to it and that's why i'm like did you like what and top of the deck like my husband told i think it was virgo do you need to see a priest too and if you're you know what i mean if, if you and your bestie got in cahoots and you guys decided to go run around you know haunted mansions and shit and dolls and whatever that's fine live your life with your content but did you get something now because you're acting oddly just so different out of the blue when you were doing the work and you were doing really well right here so what the hell happened that's why I'm asking you so what did you do and only you know and we'll leave it there because that's really actually what I see here so I don't know what happened the rest of you are just you know you're good at something but you're still sadly too lazy and desperate to want to actually do the work to figure out what you got to do um, and you just can't stop thinking about what happened in the past or you keep doing toxic things from the past. And that's how you guys leave it here. <sighs> you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Thank you. Bye.